Hi, my name is Brent Hood. I received a SAR grant, SAR grant to look at sustainable shrimp. The idea was is to raise them in an environment where we could source all the components so that we could raise an all natural, a naturally raised, raised product. Um, what we have here, I got my hands on what's called a biofilter. This helps control the chemical composition of the water that's in the pool where the shrimp are. Here we have the solar panels. These provide power to the pump. Uh, there's an air pump and there's also the water pump that causes water to flow through the biofilter here. And of course we have the pool. Inside the pool there are a series of substrates. These are um, collections of frames that have been covered with mesh that allow the shrimp to actually get away from the other shrimp so they have their own space to grow. We feed twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. We use Aquamax 1000. It's a sinking fish fry pelletized feed that has a high protein content. Um, and so those are, I think, the primary components. You're probably asking yourself, yeah, so I go and I do all this. Well, how do we get out of it? Well, these shrimp grow readily large, but they need a long growing period. So if you have at least 100 days, you can raise shrimp. These shrimp will end up being about somewhere between a number 18 to a number 14 shrimp. Backyardshrimping.com is the website that we set up with this project with the idea that if you were interested in doing this in your backyard, you could actually see the firm details. When that site is complete, what we are going to provide is an itemized cost per item so you'll be able to look at your budget. Also a time frame, there are certain key uh, benchmarks on the dates that you want to make sure you have certain places in place or certain things in place. Um, there will also be uh, the source for the juveniles, you probably won't want to try to raise them as a nursery environment, but there are a couple places uh, where you can actually get the juveniles, which is what you want to stock. Typically, you're going to stock those at about a thousand at the beginning of your season. Typically, you'll have a 80% return, which means you get 800, and uh, so 800 shrimp at just under two ounces a piece will give you a fairly decent return both for your family to enjoy and honestly because everything we've done is all natural you'd be able to market that to people who are concerned about the sourcing for their uh, shellfish.